Felix, Kiri no Felix, and I'm here to tell you a tale. It was written about an hour ago. So, this tale is called The Battle of Crow Hill, or How Rowan Saved the Kingdom. Rowan was a, uh, a clothier, let's say. He made clothes for everyone around him. He was not of great renown. Nobody really knew of him beyond the people of his humble village. But the people who wore his clothes always felt good about themselves. They always felt proud to be wearing something that he made or touched. I don't know, it gave them confidence. And so he kept about his business. He made clothes for anyone who would ask. He didn't give them discounts if they couldn't afford his wares. And once when he was at market, he traveled far to go to this market, and he found this cloth. It was black. It, it seemed normal, but it had this little glint to it. He couldn't quite tell what it was. But he took it, he bought it, because it caught his eye, and he made something out of it, a tavern, so that one of the local warriors could find it, or to wear it, so that maybe they could present themselves to the king, and perhaps gain some honor and glory of their own, even if he was never talked about. So he, had, he made this thing, and he tried to sell it, and nobody would buy it, because apparently nobody could afford it. He lowered the price, he tried, you know, telling people about it, and thinking <laughs> he could maybe make up some story about how it was fantastic, or something of the sort, but still didn't sell. But one day he was at market, and he had this thing laid out in the middle of his table, and somebody walks up all out of breath, and they, they see it, and they just want it, and they buy it. And they, they throw down this giant heaping bag of gold. And he, he's never seen so much gold in all his life. And just blown out of his mind, he, he, he says, I can't take this, I can't take it. And they're like, no, you must, you just have to. And so he takes this bag of gold, and he sells them this item, and then he goes home, and he tells his family of his great fortune of the day. And they have a great meal, and they all go to sleep. Little did he know that the person who bought this item had bought it for the king, in fact, because the king had been told by some of his most trusted advisors that the Morgan, or the crow, the battle crow, had told them that they must find something of a low creation for the king to wear in the, rape, in the Morgan's own colors, which are black. So the king took this, and he wore it to the Battle of Crow Hill, as it was called. And when he got to the top of the battle, as he was told to go alone, and stand on his horse, or sit on his horse at the top of the middle of the hill. And the sun came over the horizon. It shone upon this fabric, and the silver thread that had been woven through it shined so brightly that the army that was facing them was in awe of this great king facing them, and nearly ran. Like, most of the army just broke and ran for fear of this great king that seemed like a god facing them from alone on this hill. And even his own army was emboldened by seeing their king shine in such glory. And they entered the battle with great confidence, and they won a decisive victory for the kingdom and made the kingdom safe for many years to come. Now, Rowan knew nothing of this. He just thought that he'd provided for his family for one more day, for one more week or month, considering the amount of gold that he got for that one item. But little did he know that he'd, in fact, save the kingdom.